Welcome to this short interview. We're going to be talking about Edge AI for the enterprise here. So Tal, how are enterprises consuming AI today at the Edge? Well, there's a, a myriad of ways that they're consuming it. Uh, everything from video inferencing to chatbots, co-pilots. And what we're seeing is really a, a giant growth in uh, agentic AI where uh, enterprises are basically consolidating their, all their information into LLMs that can be accessed by uh, internal and external parties. Uh, there's just consumption of, of all this phenomenal uh, technology and it's growing at an unprecedented pace. Right. Yeah, no, that's, uh, that's terrific. So how is AI WAN traffic different? And what does that mean for enterprises? Yeah, that's a great question. I think that we're seeing uh, a shift that we haven't seen since, say, the adoption of voice over IP or uh, SaaS that's dramatically changing the patterns of traffic in the enterprise WAN. Uh, it's basically you know, moving from uh, most of the data coming from the data center into the branch or the edge and reversing itself. So when you're doing uh, a lot of AI applications and workloads, actually most of uh, the data flow goes from the device or the workload into the data center and into the cloud. And most of the WAN architecture that was designed was not meant to address that. Plus, we have the issue that most of the AI traffic is encrypted. So even uh, if we think about how voice over IP had a similar issue, it was easy to sort of identify that traffic and prioritize it or, or apply QoS policies to it. With AI traffic, it's almost impossible to know uh, what application is doing what, and that's creating a lot of chaos. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's very interesting. So how does Broadcom then uh, help to overcome those challenges to enable distributing AI? Yeah, so... One of the coolest things about what we're doing is we're actually using AI to optimize AI. And so uh, in the VelCloud uh, SD-WAN uh, and SASE solutions, we have our patented uh, dynamic multipath optimization engine that we've actually been training on uh, AI applications, the ebb and flow of their traffic. So even when it's, when it's encrypted, we're able to uh, identify that traffic and then apply uh, what we call DABs. Uh, uh, not to be confused with the DAB, but um, we're calling DABs, uh, which is uh, dynamic uh, application-based slicing. And we're actually able to prioritize uh, and identify AI applications as they enter uh, the WAN. And as a result, we are able to apply all the benefits of SD-WAN uh, to uh, AI applications and workloads. That's really interesting. Thanks very much, Tal. Thank you.